Ocean acidification is a process by which uh, humans are emitting carbon dioxide into the atmosphere through their activities of burning fossil fuels and changing uh, land use. And those gases, that carbon dioxide, is also exchanging with the ocean and making its way down into the ocean. Uh, and that changes the chemistry of the water that's, uh, that's behind me here and around the entire globe. And so that's important because the organisms that build shells, for example, uh, and rely on a specific chemistry, they, uh, they may be affected by those changes in chemistry that, that happen because that CO2 is going into the water and disassociating it and creating acid byproducts. We were trying to think, okay, we could have autonomous sensors. And so we have a mooring out there that is in one place, one location, and it measures throughout the year, but we don't know what's happening around it. And this is why we um, had the idea that we should add um, this very um, accurate carbon dioxide sensor onto a glider, and we can send it out in winter, and it can measure everywhere throughout the water column, and we can get much more data. The more data you have, the better you understand the natural variability of the system. And then you can also better predict how the ocean acidification trend that will be put onto the natural variability will then affect your ecosystem. Uh, today's an exciting and a little bit stressful of a day too, because we're gonna be out there and we're gonna, we're gonna pick up the glider after its first overnight mission. And we're also going, and once we're, once we have it on board the vessel, we're going to swap out the CO2 sensor for a methane gas sensor. And it, this sensor is built on the same technology that the CO2 sensor is. It's just got a different detector in there. And so this is an example of sort of parallel technology developments that are taking place that allow us to look at multiple different greenhouse gases. And uh, methane is a major greenhouse gas so it's really, it's the next step tool of, of moving chemistry, ocean chemistry into the robotics realm where we can get, collect big data sets and, and integrate those and understand much more about what's going on in the ocean than we have been before.